everybody, Josh Bess here. And right now I'll show you something that will really help speed up your workflow when you want to warp out multiple clips at the same time in Ableton Live. It's something that many people don't really know you can do and it's super simple, so here it goes. Right now I'll show you the quick step-by-step -step of how you do this and then afterwards I'll go through the whole process with full examples. Basically, if you highlight multiple warped clips of the same length in Ableton Live, the last clip you highlighted will control the warping for all other highlighted clips. And it's really as basic as that. You can apply this idea in so many ways though, and that's what I'll show throughout this video. So let's take a look at that. Right now I have this session from Cymatics. It's a part of their Ableton Projects collection, so if you haven't checked those out yet, definitely go for it because they're dope as hell. And here, basically, this is what we're working with. One of their future base projects. And if we take a look at the section over here, what I did was actually record my own drums into this session to combine my own drumming and natural sounds with all the electronic stuff. And they had an original hi-hat pattern in there. You can see there's a lot of drum tracks in here. I didn't create any of these ones. These sounds were all part of the original session. And you see I deactivated the hi-hats. This was the original hi-hat pattern. And for me, the hi-hats are a big part for creating a natural groove and feel, especially when you have all this hard electronic stuff going on. So here's what I recorded. And as far as the audio effects go, I copied the audio effects from the original hi-hat track, so it sounds pretty similar to the original as far as the effects go, so it fits into the mix nicely. I added some automation with the utility as well to make some space for the snare hits. But besides that, it's pretty similar to the original audio effects. So yeah, I basically recorded these new hi-hats. They sound super natural because they're actual recorded hi-hats. And they feel good, but they're a little too loose for this track. They're slightly off the beat from the other drum parts. So I want to clean up the rhythm a bit and warp them to the grid. So they're on beat with the whole song, but they still have this natural sound of an acoustic hi-hat with the intensity and velocity changes to bring more movement to the sound. So with those two things combined of having it warped to the grid, along with it having a natural feel and sound of an acoustic hi-hat, it should be a nice balance for this tune. So here, I'll close these up so it's a little easier to see. And this is the thing I want to do. Check out this clip. When I double click on the title of the clip, the sample editor appears down here. And you may already be familiar with warping, but if you're not, I can warp out this track because the warp button is enabled here. I can double click to create a yellow warp marker and I can drag this marker left and right to stretch the audio and I can move it to any new beat that I want. But notice that I record the hi-hat with two different microphones. So there's two tracks with the same pattern. And the reason for this is I like the sound of the two microphones combined to create the end result of that sound. So I'm keeping both in there. But if I wanna warp out this track over here, it's being thrown off from the other track. And it'll be annoying to warp out both tracks, especially if I'm doing some small and tedious things like this, bringing each hit to a specific grid line. So here's a way to do it in one shot. It's the most simple thing in the world, but a lot of people don't really know you can do this. So I'll show you how to do it here, and I'll also show you afterwards how to do it with some vocals as well. So here, if I click on this clip over here and hold Command or Shift, and then click on this clip, it'll highlight both clips. And down over here, you'll see this stripe design appear. This means that you have multiple clips highlighted and the last clip you highlighted, so this clip over here, the last one that you clicked, now controls the warping of all other highlighted clips. So now if I move this warp marker, it'll move both together. And it won't be moving everything in the whole session, it only warps the clips that you highlighted together in the same batch. So yeah, that's pretty much it. It's really simple. I'll go through this and warp it out to the whole tune right now and make it fit nicely. And then after I'll show you how you can apply this to vocal samples as well.
All right. I'm still going to do a little more to the sound of this later on, but as far as the rhythm and feel goes, that warping trick helped out for sure. And the same idea can be applied to other instruments and things like vocals as well. So here's a way that you can apply this to a vocal sample. So I'll jump into the break of the song here. And it's a super popular trick to double your vocals with a pitched up layer. Like if I duplicate this and pitch it up an octave, so up 12 semitones. And I'll put this on complex. This one too, so it warps a little smoother. So there's probably going to be a case where you want to warp out your vocals and you have two tracks of them. And it'll be super annoying to warp out both tracks every time. So you can apply the same idea. Click on the clip, hold shift, click on this one. They're both highlighted. Now when I warp out this track, they're both moving together. Sounds cool. I'll duplicate this part. And I'll move this here. And yeah. That's how you can easily warp out multiple tracks together in one shot. It's a super, super simple idea, but this can be applied in so many situations to speed up your workflow. Enjoy those ideas. If you have any thoughts or questions about any of this, let me know in the next live webinar. We're always talking about whatever you want to talk about. Always enjoy those. Looking forward to the next one. And if you haven't grabbed the Cymatic session yet, there'll be a free download link for it underneath this video or in the description or wherever you're watching this video right now. Cymatics is always releasing a ton of free shit anyway, so by the time you're watching this, there'll probably be a link for some other thing that you can download to enhance your music creation. That's it for now. Enjoy these thoughts. See you soon. Peace.